Kirk, 31-21, the Texas Longhorns are back, baby. They are back. They took it to K-State. But for all the haters like you, Bowles, I know I you picked, picked I know you picked against Texas. No. I know you did. No, I picked them oh, to win. Well, that was a typo in the paper because I know you told me they were going to lose. So, no. no, that's not true. We actually both picked Texas to win over K-State. They break a five-game losing streak but dating back to 03. What comes out of this game? Some big issues, even though they won, you got the David Ash issue. Let's talk about that. Okay. Well, you have to start with her because David Ash was playing very well the first half, hooked up with Kendall Sanders for his seventh touchdown of the season. Kendall Sanders first. They looked very good doing it. Yeah, he's a playmaker. And he ran hard. He he didn't look tentative. He wasn't as crisp right out the start, but he played hard, ran hard, and didn't look tentative to me. Took a big shot yeah. early in the game. He was he was in the middle of the line of scrimmage and got crushed. Right. And uh, at the half, they announced that he was being evaluated for a head injury and uh, did not return for the second half. I think Case McCoy did a good job as game manager, and they actually turned him loose a couple of times and let right. him throw at uh, times where I thought they might be a little bit more careful and conservative. It shows a little trust in Case McCoy there. And he showed some arm strength on a couple of sideline out patterns, so that was impressive as well. Out routes that were returned for pick sixes last year in Manhattan, so he, the arm strength is definitely there. Uh, over on the defensive side, uh, they did give up uh, over 200 yards receiving to Tyler Lockett, but they got the win and they, they held K-State's vaunted rushing attack. They didn't play the running quarterback at all the second half. And they were surprising, behind. surprising. Well, they stuck with the passing quarterback in Jake Waters, but to me there were signs of life with the defense. Uh, they didn't run crazy on them. And they were making some big plays, which I think is good for the Texas confidence. Yeah, and it was a bit, it, you know, we, we you hope to see bend and don't break when it's a defense that's not not greatly right. talented, like Robinson's other defense at Texas in 04, which sent 11 guys to the pros. But this was been, this has been break and then break again and then break again. This time, they actually made some plays, got some takeaways when it mattered the most. Now they've got a bye week to, to, to recharge their batteries get ready for a big road game at Iowa State, all of a sudden the Texas Longhorns have a pulse. Well, and the other thing that impressed me, they had a running game. You know, Jonathan Gray has never run better in his career, had a career high, what do you have, 141 yards, I think it was, a couple touchdowns, and, and ran hard every play. Mm -hmm. And Malcolm Brown did too. Yes, he did. You know, he, he had that play. great nine-yard run that looked like a touchdown to us, and he knocked it in the play later. So, you know, stopping the run, you got to do it if you're going to be a good football team. And running the ball is something Texas hadn't been able to do with much success the last couple of years. So those were positive and I, and I will be remiss if I didn't mention those defensive ends. Ced Reed and Jackson Jeff both played showed big. up huge. They did For show the first big. time together, they both played great right. in the same game. Right. So they do have a pulse. The Ash injury is going to, you know, who knows how long it is before he comes back or if he comes back. But the Texas Longhorns are leading, leading. the Big 12 Conference right. with a 1-0 record. For two weeks. And, and, <laughs> and the Mac watch has stopped. It stopped for now.